What thing people were making fun of 20 years ago, but now is seriously real. Also adding government conspiracies. The CIA actually did do all kinds of unethical experiments on unknowing civilians and military members in the 60s and 70s, like a lot, and people were left all kinds of screwed up. The NSA actually is listening to or reading every call and text message inside the US and most places outside the US can also bundle with this one that the government NSA has been requiring for decades a lot of electronic software manufacturers to have back doors they can access that the government reads your emails and tracks you across the web. During the mid-90s, all us early adopters were convinced the government were reading our emails. By the millennium, this was considered a full-on conspiracy theory. I mean, they would never do that, would they? A decade later, and the whole sordid debacle hits the press for the first time. There is a 1990s SNL sketch where Mike Myers plays Carl Sagan at a Hollywood party. The joke is that nobody can endure anything because Carl Sagan keeps talking about how in 30 years we won't have the ice cubes, hairspray, etc. He's very smug and smarmy and everyone hates him. Almost everything he said in that sketch is now true in one way or another. I recall my teachers frequently lambasting me about how I wouldn't have a calculator with you to for seven, so need to know how to do this as well as won't be able to translate X language any time you like. And I'm sat here looking at my phone with its 100 offline capability to do both things at a whim and thinking that aged like mill. This was only 12 years ago, but this Obama line from his debate with Romney didn't age well. What's the biggest geopolitical threat facing America? You said Russia, not Al-Qaeda, you said Russia, Obama said, and the 1980s are now calling to ask for their foreign policy back because the Cold War's been over for 20 years. I sold fix cell phones in 2004. I thought Blackberries and smartphones would eventually take over yet somehow for texting was only going to be used by techs and engineers. This was when flip phones were still the norm and SMS was an additional monthly charge. So there was some reasoning as to why I figured this. Crocs, huge brand name now, but 20 years ago everyone thought they were too stupid looking to ever take off. They were chosen as the prison footwear in idiocracy because of how stupid they look. I personally still refuse to wear them because they're really stupid looking, but I can't deny their popularity. Being self-obsessed and compulsively taking pictures of oneself much harder without cell phones, with forward-facing cameras. No, it's a fundamental aspect of our existence and it is stranger not to do so, as though you have some thing to hide or nothing going on. Psychedelic drugs as therapy. It used to be that anyone who tripped was suspicious at best and a druggie at worst dot dot. Now people are openly seeking out these medicines to help them change their lives. Often the same people who grouped them in with heroin and meth. Anum. I was relentlessly made fun of for watching Anum and reading manga. I remember hearing my peers' parents mention they didn't Anum would last long in the states outside of Pokemon and now it's popular and even celebrities will openly talk about it. Texting. When it came out, I was annoyed with it. Why spend time typing when I can just speak to the person and actually get my point across and connect with the person I want to communicate with? I thought it was a fad. I was so wrong. Using a Linux Unix computer. That was something totally nerdy and weird. Only complete geeks had that. All normal people had Microsoft, maybe Apple. Today, 70 of people who use a phone have a Unix machine. Source Statista. Government monitoring. People used to get called crackpots for saying it was happening, but now we know it's a very real issue. Combine that with AI and pattern recognition software and you've got yourself some shit buddy. MRSA and other drug-resistant bacteria. I had MRSA back in early 2008 when it was still relatively unknown. Somehow it was in my tonsils. But I also escaped it fairly easily, thankfully. Now it's a massive problem. 20 years ago, I remember recording my PlayStation gameplay to AVHS got the PlayStation hooked up to the VCR. My brother told me it's idiotic. Nowadays, we got people with their gameplay videos on YouTube. I remember seeing Running Man in the 80s, 
and the deepfake video altering where they staged for Arnold. Schwarzenegger's death seems fairly real these days. Back then, we all regarded it as pure, impossible fantasy. Video calling. It was a fantasy for most, laughed at when it emerged, then became a killer feature and now as the default next to messaging, which was also seen as out of place in its early days. Crux, the prop master for the movie Idocracy used them because they looked silly, and he didn't think they'd catch on. Now the world is getting dumber and a lot of people are wearing Crocs. Twenty years ago don't talk to strangers on the internet and don't hop into a stranger's car. Now literally talking to strangers on the internet, so you can hop into their cars. More than twenty years ago, but internet addiction was first coined as a joke back in the mid-90s. One year after it was coined it turned out it was a real problem. The movie Idiocracy. Another example of life imitates art. Hollywood is great at this even with silly, ridiculous movies like this one. Using the internet to summon a stranger then willingly getting in their car. Staying in some random person's house instead of a hotel. Rush Limbaugh and the tea party. If I would have known the path they were setting I would have thrown my dad's radio out the window. Ugh. Magic the Gathering. D&D. &D. Anum. Video games. All the nerdy stuff when I was growing up became the cool thing to do. I feel cheated. Lol you can't make a living playing video games. People are literally making millions streaming themselves playing video games. Razors with five blades. Almost exactly 20 years ago. The idea that you'd be carrying around a calculator in your pocket. Who's laughing now? Middle school math teacher. Abortion is decided. Republicans use abortion to motivate their base, but they'll never actually get it repealed. I remember our aunt visiting from California in the early 80s had glass bottles of filtered water. We laughed. The digital world making a literal map and database of everything you do, see by ETC. In the real world, IDKY. But I want to say it's easy to fool someone. It's hard to convince them that they've been fooled. You'll never make money from playing games. Million dollar prizes in esports says differently. Climate change. I mean, it was always seriously real. I feel it was more mock before though. Bluetooth earpiece. Remember it was a douchy thing. All wireless earbuds are essentially there. PPL willingly wiretapping their homes. Now, every other person seems to own an Alexa. Al Gore was treated like Chicken Little, and an inconvenient truth was 18 years ago. I remember joking that someone was going to livestream a funeral. That was 2004. An inconvenient truth came out 18 years ago. It does not meet your criteria. Used to get bullied if you played video games, now you get bullied if you're bad. Selfie culture. 20 years ago it was considered to be seriously narcissistic. Idiocracy and the dumbing down of America on a wave of anti-intellectualism. Sitting too close to the TV. Today you strap a 3D TV to your face. When YouTube came out I thought it was an incredibly stupid name. The decline in decorum and intelligence amongst elected officials. To paranoid people thinking the government is listening to them. Talking to yourself but really talking to an earpiece. 